hi guys you're all welcome back to my channel so as we are still mourning the death of junior pope a lot of his colleagues in the industry are so sad like they can't even get over it it's such a a a painful loss guys morisam sonia uche chinayene beirut kadir it's just like a blow to all the industry as a whole. We all know Junior Pope is such a lively person, full of life, full of love, very cheerful. It's so painful and heartbreaking to admit the fact that he's no more. One of his colleagues, Ruth Kadir, said, My heart is broken as a producer, as a filmmakers. We are guilty, we all are guilty of taking certain risk for this job. In fact, getting home at 3 a.m. is almost a norm in this business. I cannot throw stones. I cannot ask why. This is a call to reminder that passion doesn't save lives. JP, may God receive your soul and grant your family the heart to bear the loss. Special thanks to at Emeka Rulas, our president, at Regina Daniels, at Vivian Gabriel, and Regina's mom. You were at the hospital at 2-3. I'm trying to see if anything can be done. Fighting for the last chance to save JP. God sees your heart. Sadly, his journey ends here. God help us. So this is a message from Ruth Kadir exposing the fact that none of them, none of the actors and actresses is innocent. You know, these guys always take a whole lot of risk. You can imagine coming home at 3 a.m. from a movie site. Guys, this is so risky. What if you get attacked or involved in one harm or the other who will be there to rescue you all these for the money all these for the passion something has to be done about it you can see Ruth Kadir actually accepted the fact that they are all guilty of this crime nobody should throw stones you know a lot of people were saying um what's his name junior pope actually took risk of going to shoot a movie in the river and the rest of that all this is just to get us entertained and you know anything can happen yeah it's true that he was supposed to be on the life jacket he was supposed to have divers in the boat yes it's true but the deed has been done it has happened it has happened i just pray that the family of junior pope are able to bear this great loss i pray that god grants them the fortitude to bear this great loss this is not a good time for a lot of nigerians they've actually poured out their hearts their feelings about the demise of junior pope in their words they said the first comment is coming from Prisla Ene Akogu and she said, I remember his popular saying, who does that? It's well. This is a comment from Priscilla. We all know his normal slang, who does that? May he so rest in peace. Oka for Augusta said, very heartbreaking, I swear. Indeed, it's so heartbreaking. Very, very heartbreaking. Oluchi Paul said, this is so touching and heartbreaking. Of course, it's so touching. Nobody hears of Junior Pope's demise and doesn't get heartbroken. We all know that Junior Pope is such a lovely person to have around. And having him leave us so soon is, is so painful. I can't even imagine it. Winner Delights Unogu said, I can't see myself sleeping through the night. I was unhappy. It hurts deeply as if he is my blood brother. Hmm. If Junior Pope knew a thing like this would happen, he wouldn't have left the house that day. It's a reminder that life is indeed vanity upon vanity. 
This is a very deep one from Winner Delight. Of course, I myself couldn't sleep last night. I was just thinking about the whole scenario, praying silently to my God that a miracle happens. But it's quite unfortunate. Indeed, if Junior Pope knew a thing like this was going to happen, I tell you, he wouldn't even think of leaving his house. He would have preferred just spending time with his family. But you know, as a man, you have to go out and do something to put food on the table. And this is just what Junior Pope wanted to do. And look at what he met on the road. Indeed, this is a reminder that life is indeed vanity upon vanity. Another comment, this is coming from Olori Oke. She said, I just cannot find myself typing rest in peace. It's actually a painful one for me as well, but it has happened. We just have to fa face reality. My heart is broken. It is truly broken, guys. Chikodiri Obasi said, the news is very sad. It is really a sad one. No one prays for the demise of a young and talented actor like junior pope is actually a very sad news and a huge loss to the industry and nigeria as a whole we will really miss him on our screens his family will miss him his wife his boys oh my god they will really miss him beatrice chabu said heartbreaking with crying emoji r.i.p the next comment is from gomati she said Condolences to his family, friends, and the entire filmmakers. Okay, let me come again. Condolences to his family, friends, and the entire filmmakers. I pray God strengthen you guys in this time of sudden grief. A big amen to that. We just pray that God consoles each and every of his fans, his lovers, the industry, the entire Nigeria as a whole. May God grant us the 42 to bear this loss. Natasha Wapamesa, this name sounds like a non-Nigerian name though. She said, I feel sad, has a fun of his, okay, as a fan of his. Nothing pains like a sudden death where someone says goodbye. Good. I will see you and then all you get in return is sad news. My deepest condolences to the family. R.I.P. The next is Faith Eze. She said, "This is a reminder that to uh, it is a reminder to always pray for mercy and forgiveness, for we know not what will be of us in the next seconds." Faith Eze is not far from the truth. To be sincere, it is very important to always pray for mercy and forgiveness, because we do not even know when the hour will come. We pray that the Lord grants the soul of Junior Pope eternal rest. Guys, let me know your thoughts about this whole scenario in the comment section.